Hey, it's Brickzar! Gonna do a Lego haul. This is actually stuff that I didn't buy. It's the continuation of what formerly was known as Brick Swag. Uh, Brick Swag has transitioned into their subscriptions into Booster Bricks, uh, that company. Booster Bricks, as you know, if you've seen my Brick Swag videos, they would provide small packs that would be used for the build challenges in there. Uh, so, this box is much bigger than the Brick Swag box. has more actual, genuine Lego pieces, I think, than the Brick Swag did. Uh, Brick Swag, you get a t-shirt every month. You got posters, stickers, things like that. No t-shirt in the Booster Bricks. And so I've actually got two Booster Bricks <laughs> since the last time I did a video. Um, so I'm going to show you one from last month. I'm not going to do any of the build challenges, but uh, I think the box is a little big. For what's inside the box um, but it, this is the november box which was the canoe conundrum and somebody took a lot of time and effort into making this because there's like a whole story here um, that i didn't feel like reading uh, but they basically tell a story and then as you go through the story you come across the different challenges and that's where you got to build they got to have a little mark there for you to build and so hey build that and so it's like you're part of the story and i think that's a genius idea and that's a way of that's where the value in the booster bricks is it's in the challenges and in the story it's definitely not in the lego pieces i will tell you that uh, and then other thing you get this so you can see um, other things from the facebook group you got games uh, fan pictures from the facebook group and then uh more information on those challenges and this is the uh, packs you get like one of the challenges is centered around a piece and this month it was that piece uh, you get a minifigure pack you got to make a costume with that uh, it's just random parts here I think everybody's is different and this is another random uh, part to build a teddy bear um, yeah you got to build a teddy bear from that and then you got the build challenge, the blindfold build challenge. So, oh, this one was pretty cool for, um, I did open this one up. I had one of the dis minifigure display bases from the old olden days. And then the premier build challenge is bigger. Has the card in there that goes along with the story. And then got this out. Oh no, I mixed my, my challenge pieces up. So that's what pieces I got. Well, there's a long piece there. That's a nice get that big tan base plate. Ooh, parts to. Oh, look at that. We got a T Fall starter pack. All right, you can go build your Star Wars mocks. So that's what we got. Um, that's what comes in it. it uh, the it's usually less than a pound of Lego, and then you got the story to go with it so I, I think it's a good idea it's just it's not something that i'm interested in but then, then again this is for the kids so if your parent you want your kids to be more active and the, wait a minute actually you want to be more active if you go outside and play in the creek or play basketball or something this is if you want them to uh get involved in the challenges and they can take pictures of what they build and share it with everybody else and everybody can see what everybody built that type of thing all right the next one is the, the one that just came today I, i'm filming this in december december 21st is the day i'm filming this so depending on my may, may upload today depends on how fast my internet is all right so this is this month's booster brick so i have no idea what's in here all right so here is the December box featuring a chipmunk's tail. So that will be the story. The interactive story connects all the challenges together. When you see the bricks, that means to pause and build the challenge. So, I, you know, I think that's a, I do think that's a really good idea. Uh, so you got to build a snowflake. Let's see what else you got to build. Help Ralph to get away. Build a sled. Build the lumberjack that scooped up Ralph. That requires a lot of plaid to do that. Um, and then build a nutcracker. All right. 
Then we gotta look for something in this pile of bricks. I spy. Find a polar bear. <laughs> Here are some of the staff picks there. Well, some people built some pretty neat things from their boxes. The blindfold build. Here's some people that got to share their pictures. The kids, but see, again, this is for the kids. So I think it's a, I really like the idea. Brilliant idea. And there's the Brickhead family. <laughs> Story behind the bricks. All right. That's about the Lego brick. All right, so let's see what the special piece is. Oh, a 4x4 four four blue plate. Awesome. All right, here is the micro build. you got to build a sled. I like there's some old dark gray in there. That's pretty cool. Here is the... Oh, let's do the minifigure. This is our lumberjack. <laughs> Let me take this guy. This is my lumberjack. <laughs> I got to build a lumberjack from that. He's got a wrench, a screwdriver. <laughs> He's got a wrench and a screwdriver and a knife. It's a... It's... <laughs> Got to build a laundry jack from that. It's pretty funny. All right, let's look at the uh, blindfold challenge. So, actually, let's just dump it out on this so I can scoop it back in there. See, what would really be interesting, what Brickzar should do is get involved in the challenge and actually build something. I like, I'm more interested in seeing if there's rare parts in there. Oh, there's a Star Wars kit. Oh, look, more T-Fall starter pack stuff here. Awesome. I just dropped one. But that's pretty cool. Build your Star Wars mock. All you need now is a thousand minifigures to put on there. Oh, that's a pretty cool printed piece. Look, old computer display there for that box, and that, or that bag. Again, I like the old colors in there. There's old dark gray in, in the mix with that. Now let's look at the other the VIP build or whatever the premier challenge build. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. Alright. I like it whenever there's printed or stickered pieces. There's a Star Wars element. I don't know what that goes. It must go to some kind of friend set or something. A 2x4 red brick. Very rare. Alright, so... There's a dish. Again, that's what you get. That's basically the pieces that came with that. And usually in a way it's... I think it's usually about 10 ounces when I've weighed these before. Uh, so I don't know what this box cost because I don't buy it and I'm not interested in buying it and I'm not interested I'm really not interested in even reviewing these anymore. I'm just, I've kind of grown tired of it. I, I, I like the brick swag with the t-shirts. That was my always my favorite thing was t-shirts. I, I don't think they ever made a bad t-shirt. Some were better than others, but uh, this is for kids. So uh, I'm going to try to be fair and balanced. It's like, well, I personally am not interested in doing this. There's a um, Mega Blocks piece in there. Um, I think it's kind of uh, it's not it's not it's definitely not going to be a a box for A Falls. It's going to be for T Falls or K actually kids. It's, it's, I don't even think teenagers might not get this. Is more your eight to twelve year old range might really uh, be into this. So um, I don't think it's just. It's just not... I wouldn't recommend it, personally. Uh, you could just basically do the same thing by creating a story and just giving your kid a small pile of Lego <laughs> and say, build build a lumberjack from a wolf pack figure or whatever that is. Yeah, so I just dumped all that. Oh, he's got a, he can make a lightsaber. He's got a black lightsaber right just there. Now, my, there's my lumberjack. I'm going to cut it down with my lightsaber. Or we could be Kylo Ren. There we go. Use a blowtorch on it. Alright, so, um... I'm sorry for the unenthusiastic, uninspiring video. Uh, I just... 
probably going to be the last one. They may send me more. I don't know. I don't care. And you can quote me on that. So um, thank them for sending it. But, it, oh, that's a neat looking piece there. Um, yeah, this is just not something that I'm thrilled about. So it's hard for me to do a video on it. But I just want to let you know uh, what's going on. So we're going to dump all this stuff back in the box. And hey, even the boxes. I like the brick swag box. It had more swag to it. And just a brown box, you know, with a sticker on it. So, not trying to throw shade on uh, booster bricks. Like I said, I think it's a, an ingenious idea with the story, and I know that takes a lot of time and effort to plan that story. And this is for young kids, which that's what the book. When you see there, you see the picture. So, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not good at expressing myself, but that's why I haven't been doing these these hauls because it's just it's not something for me but anyway thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video that hopefully be much more interesting getting ready to do more with the collection getting it organized and hopefully starting the vintage lego city so stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next video it's